Azure SQL Managed Instance Pools are a deployment option for Azure SQL Managed Instance that allows you to deploy small 2v core instances. Cost-effective 2v core instances are only available in instance pools. Old instances provision faster and with more predictable times compared to singleton instances. This makes instance pools also great for centrally managed provisioning, where pools and environments are set up in advance so that instances can be quickly created on demand by application teams. You can combine various instance sizes in instance pools, from 2v cores up to 80v cores. 2v core instances in instance pools allow you cost optimization whenever you need to run small SQL Server workloads in Azure. That can be the case when some of the workloads perhaps don't require 4 B-Core SQL MI instances. Also, you can now move small Azure SQL VM workloads to SQL MI in a cost-efficient manner, allowing you to enjoy the benefits of a platform as a service at sometimes even lower cost than when running infrastructure as a service. Similarly, you now have more economic options when migrating small SQL Server workloads from on-premises to Azure. Unlike singleton instances, pooled instances are provisioned in two steps. Initially, compute infrastructure is provisioned during the instance pooled creation. This is the moment where you can set up your environment, for example, maintenance window or subnet firewall rules. In the next step, SQL managed instances are provisioned into the instance pool. Let's see how flexible are instance pools to work with. Initially, you create an instance pool. Then you can create a new SQL MI directly into that pool or move an existing SQL MI into the instance pool. You can then choose to resize a pooled instance or to increase the whole instance pool. You can also move an instance out of the instance pool or delete a pooled instance. Instance pool capacity can also be decreased when it's not needed. If you want to learn more about instance pools and 2 core SQL MIs, you can visit akams pools